from my heart, but today I don't want my heart to fail, so I had made notes. Ayubowan Wanakkam Assalamu Alaikum Good evening. Venerable monks and friends, firstly let me thank all of you for joining us today, especially the members of the Sri Lankan community who helped us to organize this national day with their contributions. We wouldn't have done without your support. We decided to celebrate our 61st National Day in a very simple manner because we want to reach out to our heroes in all our simplicity and make all our contributions to them towards Apivenuing Api. Some of us were born under different rule and others under a free sky. But those skies soon became bloody and terrorism ripped our land of serendipity. Singhala, Tamil, Muslim, Malay, Burger, we all Sri Lankans suffered. Inhuman terrorists and their supporters who form so-called human chains while using innocent Sri Lankans as human shields continue to terrorize our people. They, are not, they not only terrorize them back home in Sri Lanka, but continue to do so right here in Toronto. We even had an incident last week where a group of misled and cowardly terrorists entered the consulate by use of force. That is the two phase of terrorism which they are terror manufactured, factories manufactured over the years. I take this opportunity to thank the government of Prime Minister Stephen Harper for his courage and determination. He and his government had the courage and the conviction to ban the Tamil Tigers and the WTM. Let us also thank the members of the Toronto Police Force, the RCMP, for their efforts. <laughs> to me and to most of us, they are the unsung heroes who take great pains to maintain law and order and bring people together. And you can all, you know how much trouble they are taking these days. We all know what they are going through. This is the time to reach out and help our Sri Lankan Tamil brothers and sisters who have suffered in the hands of the LGD. Even after coming thousands of miles away from home, we can give them a hand. We can show them the light is at the end of the tunnel. Let us all set petty differences aside and unite against terrorism as our forces continue to liberate innocent Sri Lankan Tamils in the north. I request all of you to help the government of Canada and its security establishment to liberate the innocent Sri Lankan Tamils living in Toronto. Let us also pay tribute to all those democratic Sri Lankan Tamils who continue to battle against LTT terror right here. I know most of you all are here. Thank you, friends, for saying out loud. Thank you, friends, for saying out loud terrorism never Sri Lanka forever. and their sympathizers tarnish the image of Sri Lanka. If they tarnish the image of Sri Lanka, we, we all love our parents, we love our mothers, we call, we call it the motherland, so don't let because that's where you are born. Be it Canada or any country, we should not allow anybody to tarnish the image. Stand up to them with honor and courage. This is the time our temples, covils, mosques and all other religious leaders should take the lead. Let us stand united and rally behind them. If you are stuck inside a shell, it's time to get out of your shells. If you are out there doing a part of it for your country, it's time to do more. Don't let terrorists and their supporters bring shame on our country with brutal lies and propaganda. Write, speak, reach out. Don't say or never say you're outnumbered. Remember the poem from Subhashita, Pin Mother's Putun Siyakla Duat Take the message to Canada and to Canadians. If they don't know who this brutal terrorist leader Prabhakaran wanted for killing thousands of innocent civilians, tell Canada, tell the Canadians that he is the Bin Laden of Sri Lanka, they would understand. <laughs> tell them that he is about to be captured or he is ready to escape 
as all cowards would do, and his supporters here want him saved and the funds to live in the lap of luxury, while our Sri Lankan Tamil brothers and sisters suffered under his rule of terror. And if you all see, if you all go on to the newspaper, you would have seen the torture camps where the democratic Tamil leader, Mr. Ananda Sangari, always says how they are suffering the human, the, the iron curtain with the LTT, that iron curtain is coming down. Truth must be told. Let us tell Canada that Sri Lanka and Sri Lankans are happy after 30 years. We are going to celebrate life in full again without pregnant suicide bombers, child soldiers and child killers. Let it be known to Canada and to our friends in Canada that terrorist LTT have killed more Tamils and wiped out the democratic Tamil leadership. Tell Canada that Sri Lanka is the only country that still feed a brutal terrorist group that killed and kill his own people, using them as human shield and cannon fodder. Tell Canada that Sri Lanka has brought to, demo, to the democratic mainstream terrorists who killed over 600 policemen. Tell them that those weeping families have forgiven because even with tears, Sri Lankans are longing to celebrate life. The peer top island of ours cannot shed any more tears. We feel the winds of change. Don't let anyone take that away from us. Remember, my friends, you in Canada can do a lot to your country of birth. We need you more than ever before. We have dedicated this National Day to our heroes, our guardian angels. We have come together to salute them, to protect them and care for them. They have sacrificed their life for our, lives for our, our, our tomorrow. One unassuming gentleman who does not want to be identified inspired us with a personal donation of $10,000 to be sent to the He saw the winds of change when he was in Sri Lanka recently. He told me, I was living in Canada all these years. The forces liberated Kilinochi when I was in Sri Lanka on holiday. And I became so proud of our forces and our nation. And I raised the Sri Lankan flag high at my house. I thank him and his family most sincerely as we dedicated this National Day to the true spirit of independence for all those heroes of our time and all those heroes out there. It is our duty to care for them and build a better tomorrow for their children and their families. Give freely, give with love, give with affection, give with your heart and soul. Let us honor them today. Right now is right now. Thank you. I'd now like to remind everyone.